Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 22 for the year 2019, establishing a Sustainable Energy Center, SEC or SEC. The SEC will be affiliated to the cabinet and supervised by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs. The center shall undertake all tasks and responsibilities related to providing technical support for the relevant sites regarding the preservation of all kinds of sustainable energy sources, as well as enhancing the effective use, ensuring their secure use and encouraging investment in them in cooperation with the relevant authorities. The Sustainable Energy Center will have a chief executive officer with the rank of undersecretary who reports to the minister in charge. The CEO will be appointed as per a royal decree based on a proposal by the minister for a renewable four-year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued the Law 2 of the year 2019 approving the amended and the supplement air supplementary protocol to the air services agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of the Philippines signed between the two countries on the 13th of April 2017. The Prime Minister and the ministers each in their capacities shall implement the provisions of the law which will take effect one day after its publication in the official gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today Sadiq Mohammed Al Baharna at his residence in Sar. During the visit, His Majesty exchanged cordial talks with Sadiq Al Baharna and praised his efforts in the kingdom's economic and a trade march. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation to the achievements and contributions of Al Baharna and Bahraini businessmen who promote the kingdom's good reputation in the commercial, economic, and investment sectors. His Majesty noted the honesty and integrity of the Bahraini businessmen, which played a major major role in the, their success at the regional and international levels. His Majesty highlighted the Bahraini society's noble values of communication, which is an integral part of its cultural and historical legacy, wishing Al Baharna abundant health, happiness and success. For his part, Al Baharna expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his visit, which reflects His Majesty's keenness to communicate with citizens and hail the development the kingdom has witnessed in His Majesty's era, wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of royal family members and officials. His Royal Highness recalled with appreciation the contributions of Bahrain's founding fathers and their efforts in serving the kingdom which contributed in building a development march that had a tangible impact on Bahrain's progress and development in various sectors. The Prime Minister commended the efforts of Bahraini citizens and their keenness to serve their country and affirms the keenness to achieve the desired national goals to develop the country and serve its people. His Royal Highness also highlighted Bahrain's diversity and rich cultural heritage and praised the active international presence of the kingdom in various fields. His Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness to meet the needs of the areas of service development to meet the requirements of its residents and direct all resources to serve the citizens and their aspirations.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghdaybiya Palace the members of Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco Board of Directors led by the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa where they expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for patronizing the foundation stone placement ceremony for Babco refinery expansion project. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the kingdom is leading in the oil industry for which the government pays considerable attention to develop and increase investment in the sector. He expressed pride in the people of Bahrain and their competence, noting that Bahrain, during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, will continue its program that is aimed at developing income and resource and increasing activity in the effective sectors of the economic system. He hailed the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard. His Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness on developing the oil sector to serve the other developmental sectors and achieve diversity of income sources and the kingdom's ability to face various global economic challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stated that the oil industry in Bahrain will hold a promising future in light of the modernization and development projects being implemented, commending the efforts of the Ministry of Oil and Babco in developing the oil industry in the kingdom and the outstanding national caters in the field. His Royal Highness noted the importance of Babco refinery expansion project in improving the oil infrastructure and increasing the capacity of the refinery through keeping pace with modern technology to support the production and export competency according to world environmental standards. He noted that the government was keen on investing oil resources despite, despite their secrecy in establishing a comprehensive oil industry that became one of the largest modern industries in the region, expressing pride in the progress and global reputation Bahraini oil industry achieved. For his part, the Minister of Oil expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support and interest in the oil sector, noting His Royal Highness's efforts and role in establishing major oil industries in Bahrain and continuing the efforts of developing them. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghdaybiya Palace members of the Representatives Council. His Royal Highness discussed with the guests a number of issues and topics that concern the citizens. He emphasized that the proposals raised by the MPs in the council in regards to the citizens' needs receive great attention and care by the government, affirming the mutual concern in providing the citizens with suitable services which uh, suffice their needs that touch on housing, health, education and employment for the aim of providing a decent living standard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the government's parliamentary partnership that aim at serving the nation and its people asserting the development of this partnership. The Council's members highlighted the respect and appreciation of the residents of Bahrain's villages to His Royal Highness for his continuous efforts in fulfilling their needs, which resulted in a noticeable growth and development in these areas. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed that the National Development March demands a cumulative efforts as well as making the nation's interest the framework from which all initiatives are based. His Royal Highness lauded the efforts of the Council's members and the care they provide to all matters that concern the citizens, hailing in this regard their keenness to cooperate with the executive authority in surmounting obstacles that hinder development efforts. His Royal Highness also highlighted that he welcomes uh, the people's representatives to discuss proposals and initiatives that benefit the citizens' welfare. His Royal Highness stressed that the government shall continue its efforts in executing further developmental projects in the sectors of health, housing and education. 
For their part, the Representative Council members expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keen interest in bolstering the Legislative Executive Authority's cooperation. They also affirmed that His Royal Highness's directives are mainly focused on the citizens' welfare, praising His Royal Highness's approach in communicating with the different citizen sectors, hailing its authenticity that stem from His Royal Highness's wisdom, expertise and sense of patriotism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received Bahrain Petroleum Company Bobco's Board of Directors headed by the Minister of Oil and Chairman His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Atrifa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to ensuring the oil and gas sector continues to contribute to the Kingdom's comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness further highlighted that uh, the recent significant achievements made in the oil and gas sector will define the priority sector's next phase of development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the efforts of Bahraini nationals working in the oil and gas sector and noted their contributions to the advancement of the sector. His Royal Highness emphasized that the success of the Kingdom's oil and gas sector will further enhance investment opportunities and contribute to economic diversification efforts. He stressed uh, the importance of shifting from an oil economy to a smart oil economy based on sustainable and innovative development across various sectors. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince added that the Babco refinery expansion project will further strengthen the company's competitiveness and placement within the ranks of the top oil refineries. His Royal Highness concluded by noting the contributions made by Babco over the past 90 years, which has played a central role in the kingdom's economic growth and development goals. Bobco's board of directors expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to the kingdom's oil and gas sector. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the first meeting with the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Tawfiq Al Muayyad. And Muayyad introduced His Highness to the members and officials of the ministry. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed the importance of developing the work system in the Ministry of Youth and Sports in line with next stage of institutional work aimed at promoting youth and sports movement in order to build a sports system based on justice among all components of the youth and sports movement. During the meeting, His Highness affirmed the importance of sincere work in the efforts of making Bahrain the capital of youth and sports through providing an integrated strategy for the ministry and submission to the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, asserting that it would shed light on Bahrain's achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the team of the Youth and Sports Ministry should be a role model for its sincere efforts in elevating Bahraini sports and executing its new vision, thanking in this regard the sports sector. His Highness highlighted the importance of the activities during the sports summit that witnessed a large participation from sports officials. He also emphasized on making the sports sector a partner in decision making, citing them with ability to characterize the current and future stage of sports work in the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the fourth meeting of Bahrain Olympic Committee's Board of Directors, which was held today at the committee's headquarters. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the attendees, expressing pride in the administrative and field achievements of the committee at various levels, which affirms the competency of Bahrainis in overcoming challenges. His Highness affirmed that the next stage requires further activation of the role of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports.
The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, where it approved the Public Utilities and Environment Committee's amendment of a draft law on the organization and process of extracting and selling sea sand and authorized the addition of a term that allows the transfer of sea sand outside the kingdom for strategic purposes or projects or a joint projects between the GCC countries as determined by the cabinet. The council discussed the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee on a draft law amending the traffic law, which included the committee's recommendation not to approve the draft law. The Minister of Information Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al rumahi said that the world's media chaos is a result of modern technology, which requires collective awareness and regulatory procedures to maintain security, stability and national unity. Speaking during his participation at the Arab Media Forum for Youth in its 8th edition held at the headquarters of the General Secretariat of the Arab League in Cairo, the minister pointed out that the entry of the Internet revolutionized the Arab world, stressing that in light of this chaos in the region and the whole world, every news is not true until proven correct. The Minister of Information Affairs highlighted that the development of the media and communication sector made the media part of the problem rather than being part of the solution, noting that the need to adopt unified resolutions to confront countries and groups that seek to destabilize security and stability and to strike at the concept of a national state using suspicious agendas. The Arab Media Forum for Youth in its 8th edition witnessed the participation of a number of officials and academics, in addition to a large presence of young people and media students from various Arab countries. The conference discussed youth employment requirements, recent media trends, media ethics and social responsibility of opinion leaders. The Information and E-Government Authority, IGA, Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al-Qaed, received the fourth intake of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, the OFDPM Fellowship, as part of a series of events organized by the Fellowship to develop participants' leadership skills. Al-Qaed praised the important role played by the initiative in building leadership skills among public sector employees to advance innovation and excellence across all work streams, which will further improve the delivery of public services in line with the Economic Vision 2030. The Chief Executive encouraged the OFDPM Fellows to take full advantage of the opportunities provided to them throughout the program and wish them success in their future careers.